Hey boys and girls and welcome to Kids Corner again with yours truly, me. I am so glad you decided to join me today as we talk to Peter for the last time. Today he's going to tell us about not only, he well last week he told us about the big mistake he made and today he's going to tell us about how Jesus handled it, having dealt with his big mistake. So we're going to hear how Jesus dealt with Peter after Peter did something really bad. If you remember, Peter denied Jesus three times. Not just once, but three times. Do you think Jesus would have been mad? Well, we're going to find out because I don't want to spoil Peter's story. So, you know the drill, so stand up, give a big stretch stretch and we will do a song and I'll see you back here in a sec. Whether I'm driving in the car or shopping in the store, making mashed potatoes or sweeping up the floor, cleaning up my room or starting up the mower, I'm gonna praise the Lord. I'm gonna praise, 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 praise the Lord. Praise, 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 praise the Lord. I'm gonna praise, 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 praise the Lord. I'm gonna praise the Lord. Whether I'm dancing like a robot or reaching for the stars, running through a sprinkler or climbing monkey bars, swimming in a lake or rocking my guitar, I'm gonna praise the Lord. I'm gonna praise, 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 praise the Lord. Praise, 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 praise the Lord. I'm gonna praise, 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 praise the Lord. I'm gonna praise the Lord. Everybody on the And welcome back. Hopefully you got up and did all the actions, but you're not too tired to be able to learn our memory verse. So let's start together. So this one is a very popular one that everybody needs to know. Regardless of how old you are or anything, you always need to know this verse. Because it's pretty important. So let's read it together. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whosoever, that means anybody, whosoever believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. Perish is just another word for dying, right? Okay, so repeat after me, and we can learn this together. So, for God so loved the world, that means he loved the world a lot. He so loved the world that he gave his only son that whosoever believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. And that's found in John 3.16. And eternal life means we get to live in heaven forever with him. So if you don't learn any other verse, this one is really important. So let's say it one more time. So, for God so loved the world, he gave his only son, that whosoever believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. And that's found in John 3.16. You won't find that on one of your cards, but you will find it in the Bible. And you can always rewind this video and learn it some more if you need to, okay? So that is a great, 
verse to learn. So without further ado, the part that we've all been waiting for, we're going to finish our conversation with Peter and let him tell us all about his conversation with Jesus after he rose from the dead. I know, right? He came back to life. It's so incredible. So I got to stop talking so you can hear what Peter has to say. I'll see you back here after you talk to Peter. Hey boys and girls, it's Peter here again. Hopefully you're not getting too sick of me yet. But I wanted to tell you the last section of my story to you this week. Because um, it's, it's important. It was hard for me, but it's important. So at this point, Jesus had rose from the dead. Can you even imagine? We were sitting in a room, the boys and I, <clears throat> just waiting. We were get, we were having dinner, and Mary and Martha had said that they had seen Jesus, but we weren't sure whether we would believe her or not. But then, I have to tell you, the door was locked, and all of a sudden, Jesus was standing there. He was standing in the room with us. We didn't even know how we got there, let alone how he was alive, but he was. He ate fish with us. Can you even, ah, uh, yeah, speechless is a good word, speechless. But later, <clears throat> we were on the beach, we had fished. We had spent the day there. We were sitting by the fire. And Jesus turned to me and he said, Peter, do you love me? And I'm like, what? Of course I love you. I love you. Jesus told me to feed his sheep. I said, okay. Then Jesus stopped and he said, again, Peter, do you love me? Well, of course I love you. Why are you asking me this again? I love you, Jesus. As I love you. And he said, take care of my sheep. Okay, I'll take care of your sheep. I'll do anything for you. Jesus stopped and he said to me again, Peter, do you love me? I didn't even know what to say at this point, guys. My heart broke again. I was hurt because Jesus knows everything. And I said, Jesus, you know my heart. You know everything. You know that I love you. You know. Jesus said, feed my sheep. I got it. And what, you ask, did I get? I got who Jesus was. I got how much he loved me. I got forgiveness. And I know he needed to ask me three times because you know what? I denied him three times. Not once, not twice three times. And that day, I agreed and said to Jesus, Jesus, I'll do whatever you want me to do. I'll go wherever you want me to go. Whatever you need me to do, I'll do it. 
I'll never be that denying person again. I won't go back there. I'll do exactly what you want me to do. And you know, I did. I did a lot of things for Jesus. But not because I'm anything special. But because He is. If you don't get anything else from me, understand. Jesus is the Son of God. He is everything He says He is. And more. Yeah, you heard me. More. Don't take your eyes off Him. Trust Him. If you're broken, run to Him. Because He offers forgiveness and more than you could ever imagine. And He'll use you if you let Him. Thanks for listening to my story these last few weeks. It was great spending time with you and sharing my story with you. I'll talk to you later. Hey, boys and girls, and welcome back. I hope that you enjoyed talking to Peter as much as I did, because honestly, his story is amazing. Not only did Jesus forgive him for denying him, like right out saying, I did not know him, but then Peter went on to do some amazing things for God. He used him even though he'd made big mistakes. So always remember that no matter how many mistakes you make or how big a mistake you make, if you turn to Jesus and you ask for forgiveness, you know what? He is right there waiting for you with his arms open really wide ready to welcome you right back in and forgive you. So never think that Jesus won't forgive you or couldn't forgive you for something that you've done because you know what? He will. And you, so you don't have to worry. Doesn't mean we need to go out and do silly things on purpose. But then we just need to understand that when we do make mistakes, and we will, because we're people and we do silly things sometimes. Jesus will always be there to forgive you and welcome you back into relationship with him. Because he really wants to be part of your life. Did you know that you can take Jesus everywhere you go? You can. You just welcome him. You say, okay, Jesus, I'm going to school today. I need you to come with me and help me. And you know what? He will. Jesus, I'm going to the store with my mom today. I need you to help me and just be with me. You know what? He'll go with you. If you need help to remember things or help it to be good, do you know what? If you ask, he will help you. Jesus just wants to be part of your life, but he won't, like, get in there. He will wait for it to be invited because he's a gentleman. So you need to invite him along and he will be there every step of the way. So today we know that Jesus forgives and we know that he will come along and help us wherever we need him. So have a great week and we will see you next time. Have a great one. Surf's up, dude. Your love pours down. As big as the biggest waterfall Your love soaks me So completely Till I'm drenched in The sweetest rainfall And I will shout out loud Oh, it's all over me And hey, I cannot believe Love.